particular situation where you have the total sales amount by each of this product category right and now you have to find which is the third highest sold value right Th sorry third highest sold product okay so you would require to see it very very clear clearly right because this looks the first one this looks the second one and then this looks the third one right so you see how much effort it took and here we had small set of data then it was very simple but what if you have used volume of data right how would you find that so for that purpose what you can do is you can create a measure using rank x function right so let me create that a uh, create a measure called ranking okay so you see what i did is i went over here all right let me just remove this but now i will just okay so i'll just explain it to you from scratch all that you need to do is go on the table on the three dots you need to click new measure and as soon as you do that here is what you're going to get here in the formula bar here i'm just going to make it a little bigger and here you're going to i'm going to create a measure called rankings right and then over here you can use the function called rank x okay and inside this first of all i need to override the filter so for that i'm going to use all function and into that i need to override it for product line because in my matrix i have the categorization by matrix and to do the ranking i need to override this right and over here what i need to do the ranking on i need to rank basis on the sales amount so for that purpose what i can do is i already have a total sales created okay total sales or what i can do i can directly create a total sales why is that not showing total sales it must must be showing the total sales so i'll quickly okay so here i have the i here i had that bracket open so that that's the reason it was just showing not showing that okay now i just closed it and as and click this button okay as soon as you do that here is what you're going to get a ranking column created a ranking measure created in fact that's how we call it okay so let's just see where where we got that ranking here we have that right now just select this measure sorry select this matrix and come back over here in the values area right and let's take this ranking and put it over here now what do you see over here here is what we got ranking now all that you need to do is just go in three dots and on sort by you just need to click ranking as soon as you do it is it is sorted in descending order you can of course make that in ascending order and now here you see here you have the third highest sold product which is food and beverages fourth is sports and travel and so on so you see how simple was it to use the rank x function for ranking the values okay so this is how you can use it and this is it in this video let me know in the comment section if you face any difficulty while creating the ranks thank you very much for watching wish you good luck